Now, most, if not all of us, have in some way or another be, been affected by load shedding and power cuts. But this is only part of the story. With millions of South Africans not connected to any form of electricity, the effects of energy poverty are enormous and far-reaching. But a husband and wife team of engineers in the U.S. have been working on a system to transform our roads into giant solar panels. And although it seems a bit crazy and far out there, the people in the power industry are taking this seriously. Take a look at this. Solar Roadways is a company with an ambitious vision for a new energy future. To replace all concrete and asphalt surfaces with solar road panels, effectively transforming the world's entire transportation network into one massive power plant. And although this idea sounds crazy, there are some serious benefits to the technology. Made with layers of super strong glass embedded with photovoltaic cells, electrical wiring and LED lights, the roads can be used to create signs on the surface directing traffic or alerting motorists to hazardous conditions or animals crossing the road with pressure sensitive pads. And with LED lights under your feet, the world might have a close resemblance to the movie Tron. What's more, they're fitted with heating pads to melt snow so, in countries with a lot of snowfall, the roads would clear themselves. But the biggest benefit of all is that they generate their own electricity. When connected between highways, residential streets, parking lots and driveways, the system of solar panels would create a vast power collecting network, with two kilometers of roadway being enough to power 400 houses with just four hours of sunlight per day. The resulting energy savings gained from not burning fossil fuels could cut the world's greenhouse gas emissions in half. And while it's easy to get carried away when faced with an idea as potentially game-changing as solar road panels, there is a downside. Replacing all paved surfaces just in the United States would cost a cool $34 trillion, and the technology is still in development. But with a recent grant by the U.S. Department of Energy to build a parking lot made of solar roadway, they're taking the idea seriously, which could mean that one day you'll be driving on a solar road and your sweet ride can stay safe from those giant potholes. So indeed, the reality of having an entire N12 road transformed into a giant solar panel might be far away from now, but we are moving on along the way. And with us this morning, solar power experts, we've got uh, Ryan Staitler as well as Talana Cole. Welcome to the show this morning. Thank you. Hi. Very Good morning. morning. Are you nice yeah. and warm and tight in? <laughs> cool. Lovely. So currently, what is the, the situation in terms of the power and energy crisis in South Africa? And who is most affected by it, Ryan? Okay, I would say all of us are affected. Um, all South Africans are affected. If you have a look at the statistics, you're looking at roughly 3 million households uh, who are not connected to any form of electricity. Yeah. So roughly 15 million people do not have access to power, mm -hmm. which is quite a lot. Uh, in Sub-Saharan Africa, you're looking at about 575, 580 million people not connected to the grid. Yeah. So there are a lot of people who are currently using kerosene, candles, wood, yeah. uh, and alternative uh, sort of forms of energy which um, yeah, which are not green, unfortunately. Yeah. So indeed, the need for renewable energy has never been more desperate than it is now. Correct. So, Tulana, why would you then say that solar power energy is the way to go? Well, obviously, um, it's easy to use and it's free. So, I mean, you, you're getting power from the sun, so it's not an expensive thing. Yeah. And it's everywhere. I mean, especially in Africa, the amount of sun we get here it's is true. just... So the, the switch to portable uh, solar power campaign is there trying to eradicate this problem that we're yeah. facing. So uh, how exactly is it going to do this? And, and tell us about some of the devices that are available right now, actually, sure. that are uh, you know that are just plug and play literally into your, your systems. What okay. Do you have? So, so the switch to portable solar campaign, we've um, we've got two brand ambassadors. Mm -hmm. um, we've got Jacques Cullis and Dale Stain. Okay. Um, and they are supporting the switch to portable solar power. And basically, what we're doing is trying to also educate communities, educate people about the benefits of solar mm -hmm. you know a lot of people have the misconception that it's very expensive it's difficult to set up yeah uh, you need installers etc but all these products for example are all plug and play mm -hmm. um, so they're very very simple you know this is for example business in a box you can literally take the unit home and start a business immediately. Uh, you barely need to read barbecue. the instruction manuals. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we've got that and literally, so it has a little solar panel that you charge in the sun and once it's done that, you can then use all of your, your equipment, right? Correct, mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly, so you can power, so just by, there's our solar panel on the left there, you can have a day in the sun 
and then you've got power to power your, your laptop, your cell phone. I mean, here we've got a business in a box so you can have your little electric razor, yeah. a fan. It's great for students that don't have power, they can study at night. Then we also have the Waka Waka, and this is a handy device to just keep in your handbag or in your car. Or again, if you're in the rural communities and you just need light, it's got an amazing, strong LED light. Yeah, that is very um, really strong. It does dim down, so you can get up to, you, you charge again for a full day, eight hours of sun, you can, and then you've got up to 100 plus hours of light in your house. That's it's, incredible. Um, you can hang it if you go camping, it can be light in your tent, and it can also fit on top of a bottle, so it can help for reading and studying. Yes. Um, and yeah, so it's very easy to use. It's called a Waka Waka Share the Sun device. Okay, good. And then what obviously, else? sorry, this one you can also use to power your cell phone. So Fantastic. it's got a little charger on the side. All kinds of it's applications. Easy to power. Mm. Yes. And then also, I mean, you can apply the, the, the technology of solar yeah. to things like monitors as well. It's all yeah. about the connectivity. Well, right? that's actually a DC TV, and it's being powered here through the DC jacks. In other words, a cigarette lighter. Um, this 19-inch or 22-inch DC screen, standing for direct current? Correct. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's a little bit more efficient. So you can obviously power AC, so they do have little inverters for AC uh, devices as well. Yeah. But the nice thing is that you can actually watch four or five hours of TV on that. You can connect a set-top box or, or another device like a multi-choice decoder and you could watch uh, wow. all the soccer, you know, regardless <laughs> of power cuts, etc. Et et yeah. <laughs> so what, exactly. what would be the far-reaching, I guess, benefits and effects for South Africa and Africa as a continent if we were to switch over to solar power? And why aren't we doing it? Because it's there. Great it's there. question. Yeah, I just heard this morning actually on the news while we were waiting to come on that there were more shack fires, for example. And majority of those fires have been proven are from people knocking over kerosene lamps. Um, so there, you know, you start using these things, which are little three-watt LED bulbs. Mm. Put those in a house. They don't cost you anything once you bought the system. And there's no more risk of fires. There's no more, you know, going out and trying to find fuel. For example, we've heard people buying fuel for generators just to charge their cell phones in rural mm -hmm. areas, etc. So all of that stuff is eliminated, yeah. uh, which is wow. great. And I think, uh, like I said, the, the need has never been more desperate right the now. Needs, so the more that yes. we can get our communities plugged in in some other way, giving them energy, this could be the way forward for us. If you'd like yeah. to find out more, go to www.switch2psp.com. And also check out our Facebook page, Expresso Morning Show, SABC3. We'll be giving away one of those Waka Waka Share the Sun devices. But stay tuned to your feel-good breakfast show. There's lots more to come.